Despite its immense popularity, Masaki Kishimoto's Naruto manga have been su subject to criticism for its how it writes and treats its female characters. While the series boasts a diverse cast of male characters with complex motivations and well-developed storylines, the female characters often fall short in comparison. In the manga, female characters are often relegated to supporting roles, serving e either as love interests or accessories to the main male characters. For example, the main female lead in the in the core cast, Sakura Hirono, one of the primary female characters, initially is depicted as weak and dependent on Naruto and Sasuke. While she eventually gains some strength independence, the development does not have a satisfying payoff. Another character, Hinata Hyuga, another beloved character, is introduced as a shy, timid girl who harbors a secret crush on Naruto. Despite her potential for growth, she's largely undeveloped, and her ho and her role in the story is primarily limited to her relationship, I mean, or slash, really just a crush on Naruto. The anime adaptation makes it much worse with the female representation through flanderization, character exaggeration, and sexualization. For example, Sakura in the anime is made to be much jerkier and bitchier, while Hinata's shyness exaggerates a point of comical. Also, the anime introduces inappropriate sexualization of a lot of these female characters, which is problematic because cause a lot of these characters start in the series at age 12 and end at the series age 16. And in comparison, while the Dragon Ball franchise also has faced criticism for its portrayal of female characters, it's worth noting that the issues are less severe than in Naruto. Toriyama's female characters such as Boma, Andra 18, and initially Videl are often portrayed as strong, independent, and have well-defined roles in the story. While they might not be as numerous and prominent as the male characters, they make a meaningful contribution to the overall narrative, especially Boma. Exceptions to rule. There are a few exceptions to this general trend of poor female representation in both anime and manga. One is Tsunade, the fifth Hokage, who is a powerful and respected ninja who serves as a mentor to both Nara and Sakura. And Chio, an elderly puppet master at the, at the start of Shippuden, who helps our main characters save Gara, who became the recent Kaze Kage, and overall, the impact of the franchise. The poor treatment of female characters in the manga, and especially in the anime, is a significant flaw that detracts from the overall quality of the franchise. It perpetrates harmful stereotypes and sends the message that female characters are less important or less capable than their ma male counterparts. In conclusion, while the Naruto manga and especially anime have their strengths, the treatment of female characters is a major disappointment. A shallow, problematic portrayal of female characters coupled with the anime's exaggeration and sexualization, flanderization, undermines the franchise's potential and prevents it from being truly beloved. It is essential that future works in this franchise and in other franchises addresses these issues and create a more inclusive and equitable rep representation of female characters.